Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to answer a question that I actually get fairly frequently. Can you use car wax on your guitar? So, can you use car wax, the paste wax stuff here, which is actually carnauba wax, on a guitar? Well, the answer is yes, but maybe not in the way you think. So I guess really the answer is, as usual, it depends. You can use car wax on your guitar in the same way that you would use it on a car, essentially. You already have a gloss finish, you go ahead, you put this on top, it protects that finish to some degree, although of course your clear coat should be doing that anyway. Um, from UV a little bit and moisture and stuff like that, the same way that it would on a car. It also makes it a little grippier, so if you're a guy where your guitar tends to slip out of your hands a little bit, get some wax on there, it'll help. Now the process for this, and, and forgive the ugly fretless guitar here, Sorry, it's actually set up a little bit high for some reason. Um, the process for this is quite straightforward. What you do, and this wax is a little bit old, but that's not a problem, is you take, and you can, <laughs> you can tell I've waxed my car a few times with this, you take your, your buffing, your applicator pad, get it a little bit wet, get some wax on there, and you know, there's more than one way to skin a cat. I'm sure some of you apply this a little bit differently, but I get it a little bit wet, not really wet, because you don't want to risk getting water into the areas with the exposed wood. And you just kind of rub that on. And you're gonna end up with this weird kind of swirly sheen on there where you've applied a thin layer of this. It doesn't take much to do the surface of a guitar. But you'll end up with that on there, and then you're gonna wait. You're gonna wait probably 15 minutes or something like that until it's almost fully dry. Now, unlike a car, you can actually leave this a little bit longer on a guitar because it's a small surface. The reason you kind of often will buff it off of a car a little bit earlier is it's tough. It becomes a little bit more difficult to buff and that's a fairly large surface to work with. With this, you can let go until it starts to kind of turn white a little bit and then you buff it off and you've got a nice protective layer there. Now the way that people seem to think that you can use this is for polishing. Now let's be very clear here. Car wax is not polish. The companies that make automotive waxes, carnauba wax and whatnot, often do make polish. For example, Meguiar's makes polish. Mother's makes polish. Turtle wax makes polish. But that's not the same thing. This is for protecting a finish. What you need in order to polish something, and I say polish broadly because what you need is compound and then polish. The difference being that this will go on and add a layer on top. Compounds are abrasives and polishes are also abrasives but very, very, very fine. Compounds are finer than sandpaper, even the very fine sandpaper, and polishes are even finer than that. And that is how they get that perfectly smooth finish such that you end up with a full gloss at the end. But if I go in, and let's do this, if I go in here and flip this guitar over so that I've got my back, which isn't in, in stellar condition, it's been abused a little bit, but in any event, it's a fairly nice gloss finish on the back here that I've got, okay? So I'm getting a good reflection and everything, and I can, I can see a reflection in it. Now I take some high grit sandpaper, and I carefully sand out and by carefully, I mean haphazardly and not carefully at all. I sand out this area. You can see that that's clearly not gloss anymore, right? Now, if I were to take a compound to this, let's clean this off a little bit, um, and then I could get a polish on there to get it back to a full gloss. So this, on the other hand, will not do that. If I buff this on here, spread it around, so I go in and apply that as you just saw and I get these telltale swirl marks, which is exactly what you want from wax. That's the wax sitting on top. Now if I go in and buff this, well you'll see what happens. Um, the answer is not what we're expecting, not what we want, so to speak. On the front here, I've got, can, can you see that with this color? I've got the swirl marks as well. So I've got kind of this haze in here. Sorry, I'm looking over at the viewfinder. This haze all over this finish. Now when I go in, and even with something like a shop towel, when I go in and buff this off, you should be able to see 
I'm going to have to change the angle on my camera here. Oh, here we go. So, all gross and swirly. See, nice and glossy now. Hazy, glossy. So that is a protective um, option for the clear coat. And if I go in and buff all of this out, even, like I said, with this shop towel, I end up with a nicely protected gloss finish. Now I don't do this on my guitars. I don't go in and put automotive wax on them. It's never been something that I found necessary or particularly helpful, but you certainly can if you want to. Now if I go in on this side, even with a nice fine piece of you know, cotton rag here, like you would kind of use if you were doing this by hand, although you can also use a buffing pad or applicator pad. And I really go in and put a lot of pressure on here. Like I would if I were doing this with compound. You'll notice that, and sorry, I'm trying to talk while I do this, that instead of removing the scratches like a compound does because it's also abrasive and really gets in there, this is just going to mask them a little bit. What it's going to do is create kind of a shiny surface on top of the scratches. So if you look closely at all, you'll still see them there. You'll get a little bit of shine off them, but you'll still see them. And that's, again, because we're not doing anything to get rid of them. We're just kind of masking them in a little bit of a shiny surface. There we go. You can see this is clean now. Those are all the sanding scratches. You're getting a reflection off them, which you weren't before I applied the wax, but the sanding scratches are all still there because we haven't actually polished them out. We haven't compounded them out. All we've really done is put something mildly shiny on top of them. Not good enough. So guys, if you're trying to actually polish the clear coat on your guitar, I have several videos on how to do that. So go ahead and just look up clear coat or polish or whatever on my channel and you'll find that no problem. But if you're going to be using wax, make sure you're using it for what it's intended for. Even if you're trying to put a finish on wood with wax, there are proper waxes designed for that. Uh, microcrystalline waxes, finishing waxes, stuff like that. These automotive waxes can serve a purpose there. Um, but they've got a very specific application in that situation and it's really not what they're designed for. So again, really the useful way of employing these is you put a finish on something and then you use this to protect it. It's not the finish itself. It's definitely not a polish or a compound. It's a protective coating for on top of your finish to protect it from various things, including UV and moisture. Hope you guys found that helpful. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned. We've got some awesome projects coming up where we're going to build guitars and put finishes on them that actually work. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.